Usugi pulled the next action over here in a most dangerous time and captured, uh, he ended up fighting Nobunaga himself and captured the hex or space, knocked Nobunaga onto the uh, replacement track. It's looking like the Oda are about ready to just collapse at this point. The next actions were the Mori who managed to trounce Hideyoshi. Um, he didn't even get a shot off, basically leadership roles. Uh, didn't have to play a card, but he made the leadership roles both times and uh, it just wiped him out, both on the first attack and then on the attempt to retreat. Uh, Hideyoshi's got a few units left, but uh, having a daimyo Having that extra plus one in leadership chance is a big thing, and he got good rolls. Uh, and then we've got the uh, Takeda getting the next event. And they only rolled a one for movement, so they just moved forward and took this. But they finally made uh, Yamagata an actual daimyo, now that Kyoto's owned. The Antioda Alliance uh, miners got the next turn and the Miyoshi captured the territory and then the turn end marker came up. So this is pretty much the standing position. A uh, bunch of troops added to the game at this point. Ooh, I forgot to add a Mori unit. Eh, I'll fix that later. Ah, uh -huh. yeah, I made a mess. But, uh, yeah, pretty much at this point, it looks over. The Takeda are swinging into full power. I mean, just right up against those castles, damn near. And they're next to one. Um, with Kyoto gone, uh, the Oda aren't even able to draw a card because they're too weak to capture anything. This is making me want to play... It's making me want to be able to extend play because, so after the Oda are destroyed, which looks like a foregone conclusion, there's three major, major clans, none of which, and, and no Shogun left anymore. So each of these clans probably kind of wants to become the Shogun, and I feel like there should be an option to keep going. Unfortunately, even making it past that 30 turn, uh, given the way the deck is looking, seems really like it would change the whole nature of the game. Uh, the deck's just not big enough and you're not supposed to reshuffle it. I definitely want to put some thought into uh, the idea of how to extend the game, but once you start throwing cards into a game, and there's the historical people, I mean, this is... As it stands, it's already a 14 years for the standard game. People are dying, and I'm not entirely convinced that there shouldn't... I don't know. It, just, it, it, it feels like I want to continue the game beyond the point where things, uh, things are, that's all. and I don't know if it's going to be easy. But I'd like to come up with the rules for that. Okay. Turn 19 was another failed turn. Uh, nothing happened. There are a lot of these, but they kind of... Uh, they may not be completely realistic when this much battling is going on. But it could be bad weather or something. There's, um, what, three turns per year or so. That's what it looks like. Maybe it's two per year. Two per year. So it may not be that unreasonable. So the top of turn 20, um, turn 19 we had a few, or sorry, 21, uh, we had a few actions. The Ikuiki uh, got, moved a little further, a big stack in the middle, just slowly creeping through Oda territory. Uh, Oda got a chance to move, and he basically consolidated his position uh, at the castle and is preparing for an attack on the Takeda. Takeda got a uh, slight move. Uh, again, they also moved forward a little bit. And then the turn end came. And during the turn end, rather oddly, 
uh, both the Takeda, Shinjin Takeda, and uh, uh, the uh, Usagi, uh, I don't remember his name, uh, clan leaders, daimyo, whatever, died. <laughs> so their heirs are in charge now. And in both cases, those are much less competent leaders, um, at least in one sense or another. They give uh, the Takeda Katsuyori as much military skill, which is probably goofy, uh, as Shinjin, but no diplomatic skill. He certainly shouldn't have the diplomatic skill. Um, and uh, Kagekatsu, uh, the Usugi uh, lord, is somewhat less... Uh, he, he's down to the realm of the physically possible in terms of combat bravery. Uh, so that both of those are kind of a bonus for the Oda, but it still may be too late to do anything about it. One thing that's been kind of nice is the Mori have not been getting turns. And with their plus two to the die roll for movement, that is actually a big deal, because they could do a lot of damage with that. Continuing tragedy of the Nobunaga uh, experience is going. Um, Oda got the first draw of the turn, got a big roll, uh, proceeded to conduct a couple of sieges, um, one against the Ikoiki worked, and another one did not. That's fine. They also massed almost a, a humongous force against um, the majority of the Takeda force down here. But the Takeda pulled an ambush card and still got very lucky as well um, overall and managed to really decimate. We're seeing huge losses over on the Oda side here and Nobunada eventually decided to withdraw. End of turn 21, the Oda got another uh, action, but first the miners set a siege in place. The Oda faction uh, turn was basically limited to taking uh, Nagashima there. And maybe a little bit of repositioning. Um, I've already thrown the troops out on the board that are coming, and we're ready for the next turn.